Um, if you are in a full package of Microsoft, you will have this uh, upper, uh, office uh, inside you. Kalau you tengok, ada satu ni namanya Microsoft Access. Tak uji dah access tu. Access ni tak sebab kata dia different lah. Dia dah jadi on its own. Dah macam kalau tak silap lah. Bila ni cek tu. Cuma cari tengok dalam hukum tu ada tak access. Because uh, this is one thing good when you use access compared when you use Excel. Uh, when you want to manage database. Ya. Yeah? Uh, when you are facing with your clients to, that, uh, to do data entry and whatnot, it is better for you to use Access rather than Excel. Excel is more processing of the data. So, for example, uh, if you are running an event and you want to register membership, you don't want to key in the data inside your Excel. Your clients will look at it look at you and say as if you don't have a system. So the best thing is to use access. Okay, I will show you uh, for example uh, the application of access. Okay, here are the For example, if you have a set of data, the good thing about access is first you can have a set of database, yeah, and this database can uh, be used from this one raw or this one we call forms, yeah. When you key in forms, macam kita key in dalam, just like when you have a system. As if it is an online system integrated, yeah? Which is, yes, it is integrated within uh, Access. Uh, depends on uh, how you want to integrate it. So, in Access, you can have a scroll button, yeah? Which department, countries and all. You know? So, it looks more professional rather than you directly. When you key in things and all, and when you want to see the end result, for example, you are printing invoices or you want to print receipts. So it can has a finishing look like this. Yeah. So uh, all these can be designed uh, in your access database. Yeah. Uh, we will have a session uh, for this one uh, in the next session. But what I want to show you is that uh, Excel is more to do calculations, yeah, uh, data crunching and all. Database, yeah, to insert database, it is best if you use forms in Excel. For example, UMI, UMI will have one access database on client, so instead of keying in in a uh, put. Uh, forms like this, right? Forms like, uh, like this, yes, and lot and messy, you know, he, he could have missed the line, yeah? He will, he will now use access forms like this, and where everything here, and when you want to save, view, save, 
and pro or prim is all here. Yeah? And when you want to fill up new records, you just put the new records. New, blank record. Yeah? See? This is blank record. And then you can put one ID. The ID can be pre-assigned. She doesn't need even to uh, decide. And then you can choose the status, whether this is draft. Yeah? Choose whatever she needs here. <coughs> and then type things. And then choose whatever things that she needs to do. Blah, 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 blah. And do this. And then at the end, she will now save the record. Okay? So this is what a, a new form looks like. Right? Uh, this is just a preview. Okay? I'm not going to teach you how to do this today. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to learn is uh, to use Microsoft Office on PowerPoint. If you look at our PowerPoint presentation on Excel just now, yeah, we can just work on this and I will give you a few assignments and show you some tricks on how to use uh, PowerPoint the fastest way, yeah? In our work environment, yeah, especially those who have to do a lot of proposal, uh, consultants, yeah, you must know how to do this quick because your clients will always want your uh, proposal uh, yesterday, <laughs> yeah? <laughs> So if you are quick, yeah, we will take about one hour to finish one proposal. <coughs> that is, uh, you know, uh, about 40 minutes you doing it and 20 minutes for your friends to check it, peer, peer review and for you to, you know, send. It's just one hour. If you are not interrupted with Facebook, phone calls, your friends, you know, things like that. Because if that, you can take half day just for one proposal. Okay, talking with experience. <laughs> right, so let's look on it. Uh, let's open new one. Okay, new blank page. Okay, everybody here? Alright, so you look at all these uh, templates. It has so many, many uh, designs that you don't have to think of. Everything was designed and has its own team, they mark. Yeah. Uh, however, a company would like to have its corporate image. Means that they will use their own team. Yeah. I will show you how to create a team, and then uh, we will use it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, take a blank presentation. Okay. I want you to always uh, start with um, uh, checking with your kind of canvas whether it is this large white canvas or the original one yeah so you need to go to view uh, sorry uh okay view. Yeah. View of okay design okay design slide size <coughs> there is standard and white screen yeah always yeah. Before, before, standard. before standard, yeah. Uh, but uh, for our corporate use, we always use white screen because it looks nicer on the upper uh, projector. Uh, okay. Um, now we can choose if, if any of these, but I want to, to show you how to create one. Yeah. Or when uh, we give you like, okay, uh, this is our corporate branding. Yeah use these templates so you have to know uh, what to check all right go back to home right so let us look at all these ribbon up here okay look at the home button first if you look at the home button you will see this new slide here okay when you click new slide you must know that you can choose from what slide to uh, which slide for new one if you do not choose, you will it will automatically give you the same like the first one. Yeah. For example, like uh, this one, we have this one. If I just put new slide, yeah, it will just give the same pattern. But if I choose new slide and I choose pencil slide, it will give a different one. And so, uh, choose this carefully. 
But even if you mistakenly choose, you can go to layout and then choose again. Okay? Right. And then uh, a reset means that uh, after you already format everything, and then, oh, this is not nice. You to go back to, it will go back to the original setting as you set it in the master slide. Later, I will bring you to the master slide. Huh? The rest is just the same like uh, words are useful, lah. Yeah, to do text alignment, text direction, shape width, and whatnot. Okay. Insert. You must know that in Microsoft PowerPoint, you can insert a lot of things and plug in. Yeah. Inserting pictures, inserting pictures online or offline, take up from your own hard disk or um, online. Yeah, you can choose online pictures, screenshot. Yeah, meaning you can now click this, right? And then whatever is open is there. This is very fast. See, I want to copy from my telegram and put it there. Boom. Ah, no need to go print screen and then go there. Ah, magic, eh? Love this function. You do that, don't you? Right? Because you need 2016. Ah, okay. Alright, tapi uh, uh, aku insert uh, screenshot ni 2000 uh, sebelum tu pun ada juga lah kan? Uh, okay. Alright, and then run from photo and what not. This is to take photos and plug in. Shape is to draw. Smart apps used for conceptual. So if you have anything, five element, three key, five uh, inputs, whatever, choose the nicest graphics. Because it's easier for people to remember graphics compared to the design. You remember uh, as well presentation? Yeah, it's all words in fact then. Yeah. <laughs> ah, so if you want to to have a worthy presentation, make sure your presentation verbal is strong because people will not look at your slides. People just hear from you. People forget about that. But if you want people to just watch your presentation slides, you know, you must have a very, very good graphics, a storyline and whatnot. For example, I have this. You see? I can, uh, I can use this. And when I'm talking to you, you will see places where I highlight. Yeah, and the call is correct. The key message is correct. And when I want to draw attention to me, I will now blank. No more. Okay? Uh, so now every eyes will go at me. Then I will ask questions. If I did not blank it, somebody will be busy writing down. You know, even though I say I will give you the slides and all, you know, you will you cannot get. Okay. Right. So those are the things, right? Okay. So now um that is uh, when we use, yeah? Okay. Uh, charts. These are another thing that if you've learned this now from Excel, you can copy the charts and paste in your uh, PowerPoint. The table will be carried together. That's the magic. Or you can create it in PowerPoint. Yeah? But people who crunches data will normally not do that because they will have a, a, a data processing point which is Excel. They change that, this one automatically will be updated. Okay? Right? Okay. Text box, header, footer are all the professional finishing that like I told you. Yeah? Your slides when it printed and all. And then it also have functions for equations. Yeah, because all this, it will take time for you to draw, to write, yeah? So if you are presenting your PhD papers and whatnot, you might want to use all this so that it's easy for you to uh, maneuver, yeah? Right. And then, you have symbols. This is where you get all these TM, copyright, registered, yeah? Trademarks, yeah? You see, all these have different meaning. Copyright means, Hak Cipta Terpulih Haram. Okay? 
copyright reserved. So if you have materials, lyrics, songs, lyrics, uh, poems, and everything, you use copyright. Okay? If you have a trademark, yeah, like uh, a brand name like Dasto, yeah, Megabase, yeah, trademark, yeah, you want to use TM. Okay? And when this trademark has been registered, the best is R. That's the highest level. R is the best for the TM. Okay? So, anything you want to use or symbols, you just choose from here. And then you see video. You can insert video plugin. You are doing presentation. You are teaching on how to uh, do a presentation. And you have a video on what bad, what is a bad presentation. So you plug in. Okay? Audio is also the same. These are called plugins, right? This is what you insert in your PowerPoint. Okay? Now, design. These are the design that you can choose. And also your colors. Ah, corporate colors. You know, all these colors has a themes. How do they choose? How do you see that it has the right red and blue? The right theme. It's still red, it's still blue, but it is the right theme because it has its own color theme. Yeah? So what whenever you see when I change. You see the color of that change? Yeah? I change here, so it looks like that. I change to this one, it's a bit pink. Yeah, my favorite, not so much yours. <laughs> the, this is more pastel, things like that. Yeah? Up to your uh, message. A presentation last time on color. Yeah, you remember that? Let me show you again. This is also important uh, to look at the color. Okay. Which color is what? <coughs> oh, it looks like this color. Okay. Look at this. These are all colors that show energy. Yeah? If you are, you know, feeling that uh, you need to fire out warm, uh, you know, this optimism, this orange. All these logos are about that. Yeah? Excitement. Yeah? Bold. Who is bold enough to drink Coca Cola? <laughs> High calorie. Good for the toilet. <laughs> yeah? There you go. Coca Cola. Right? You see uh, strength, trust. Yeah? Things like uh, milk has. That the sea iron to make your strength body calcium, whatever. So you see that milk and everything has it. So, yeah. So choose this color. It has all its color coding. Yeah. Uh, for our company, this year it's excitement goal. Hmm. Okay. <coughs> Red. Okay. Let's get back here. Okay, so that's all about design, colors and the team. Okay, so when you have completed your uh, PowerPoint, you want to present it. Yeah, you are ready and you want to present it, and then you might want to choose how your PowerPoint, you know, slides. Okay, mind you, in a decision making. Yeah. Uh, or performance and progress. Do not use fancy, fancy transition. Okay. Yeah, make it simple. Lah, jangan menari bersama slide joget joget. Ah ah. Ganti BOT pun pang sekali dalam masa. Okay. But when you want to excite students, yeah, like uh, bringing people to your new union, and you want to use all this. You know, disco, mamba, cha cha, no, fine. Yeah, so choose your team uh, on the transition. This is very important. It depends on what you are uh, presenting. Okay. Animation. 
Animation is when you want how the image would come flying to your slides. Also the same. If you are presenting it for formal decision making, avoid fancy, fancy, swivel, running and you know jumping straight home. Okay? Right. If it is for uh, everything else, then it's fine. Okay. Slideshow. This is when you want to present the slide. Okay? This one can help you to do rehearsal. If you say that you are going to present in just 10 minutes, 7 slides, yeah, they will, this, uh, you can set the PowerPoint to change every one minute. So now, you rehearse. Yeah, you want to pitch for 100,000 grand. You are being given only 15 minutes. And you only have 10 slides to show. You must make sure that you use all the slides. And, you know, share the information. So, use it correct. From my experience, I've been uh, doing slides for a lot of grants and pitching. Even though some of them is not successful, but every time the upper panel will say, that's a very nice slide. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, uh, that's how we, we do it, okay? Right, that's one workshop already done. That's Seven one slide. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Seven slides only. Yes, do or die, right? <laughs> um, review means when you send some to somebody else and somebody else wants to do checking, yeah? And then view, this is the most important part. Okay, right. So are you ready for the hands-on? Okay, uh, some of you love to use mouse, uh, some of you use fingers, so just bear, yeah, which one? Because it needs a lot of techniques, it will use two hands. Okay, <laughs> let us go for the blank presentation. Now, I want to do this, I want to make this uh, presentation very personal to me. Yeah? Uh, what would be that? Yeah? What would be personal to me? Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> Are we? Uh, yeah. yeah? Okay, this is Gila, again. Okay, so once you have decided, you click on design, you decided the size, the size, yeah, right? You can do easily with formatting background like this or whatnot, yeah? But I wouldn't uh, go to that. Uh, yeah, I would straight to go to go to the view, go straight to the slide master. This will make all your presentation standard. Yeah, okay. Now understand about this slide master. If you see number one here, this is all the body parts. Yeah, and you see here, this should be the title part. Yeah, and in the body part that has a lot of things, yeah, it will have its title or key message. This part here is uh where you put in your key message. What do you want to tell about the slide? Yeah? Most of the people will just put title. It has no key message. So when other people use the slide, they do not know what to bore Yeah? Because the key message was not clear. Okay? So a good PowerPoint slide is uh, even you change Presenter, presenter can use it. You know, it is flow very nicely, connecting the dots and everything. Okay, so now this one, if you see the default size of uh, this, is about uh, forty-four. Yeah, I would, I would, I would propose for the body just to go to twenty-eight. Yeah, so you click this and you go for twenty-eight. Remember, it's a key message. So it's going to be a sentence. Yeah? Right? And you can bold it. Yeah? Now, this one must be smaller. So you highlight this box and you reduce it to 16 like this. Okay? Right. Now, going to the theme. 
Yeah, I must go back to the first page here, at least. Yeah. Go back here. 2028. 2016. Okay. And I will go this one. Okay. Depending on your style, uh, I like my uh, topic or my key message to be on the right side and in then uh, on the right. Depends on how much your style is. And I want to include here, I want to insert here my uh, company logo. Okay. Company logo. Company logo. There you go. Insert. Boom. Okay. Reduce it. Okay. Make it the same size. See, when, when you resize, I want you to see the dot line over there. Nampak tak? That is the guide. Nampak tak dot 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 line tu? I do it again eh? Did you see that? Hmm. Right? That is when you know that it's already uh, in the same comparison size to the next thing. So, you will have a harmony, uh, you know, standard to the eye. Okay, so if your audience is somebody with a uh, bagi apa tu? Uh, apa yang suka menyusun tu? OCD. Ha? Ya, OCD. Yeah, OCD. <laughs> you will pass that. Especially, uh, you know, OCD. Okay, so, I'm on it here. So, you see, follow the guide. Make it up. And I want it to be selari dengan hmm. that. Okay. That, that is, that is the smart part of PowerPoint of 2000 latest lah, yeah? Or else dulu, we have to, you know, uh, put in the margins using the the scale, whatever lah, okay? Right. Tak pasal tu kan, Dok? Haa. Sebab Dok selalu guna kan? Yeah. Okay. Background of the slides. Um, I kind of like grey. So it's all grey. Okay. And actually, I want to put a frame. Uh, let me check if I can get a frame here. Insert uh, online picture lah sebab kita punya internet bagus. So, <laughs> I put here frame. Aha, there's a nice pink frame there. So, I quickly take pink. Okay, there you go. And wow. then, remove it. Baik pula kan? Ha. Bila dah frame tu besar pada <laughs> Pada text tu, you have to move lah Okay, so let, let me Look at that this way Okay, what I can do, I can even go extra Tak ada masalah Yeah, you don't have to be bounded by your Your own kan? Okay. Sorry Okay And I want this to stay behind. So bring forward or send backward. Okay. Click send backward. So you see everything will appear in front of it. Okay. So now I want to test how does it look. There you go. Just nice with my personality. Dang <laughs> it. Okay. Yeah. You got it? Okay. Bapa tak ada cantik untuk scan hat kot. Ya, dah buat cantik. Ha, tak ada cantik. Ya, buat 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 cantik. Okay. So, now everything sama saja. Ya? That is all about uh, the template. Okay? Right. Now you close master view. You will see that that's how it looks like. Very good. Okay? Now, uh, let's say uh, this is about me. Okay? This is a slide about me. Okay? Now, 
Why don't you guys do it the same? So, okay, right. So, when I click new slide, yeah, okay, now I think of the topics that I want to cover. Um, See, I have only 10 minutes and I have five key points to talk. So I go to the uh, smart graphics and then I choose any of these lists, process and everything. Yeah, but for content, it's best if you use uh, vertical boxes. Okay. Or you can use... Uh, um, Um, alternate hexagons because it looks like you are doing puzzle, yeah. But if it's formal, it's better to use uh, the vertical. Okay, now you will see that my uh, my color is blue because I choose this now. That 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 kind so yours will be the same. So good. Uh, what? Uh, birthday. Birthplace. What else do you want to know? Um, birthday, birthplace. Um, huh? um, education. Okay, so now you use your box here. Amala, mm. Professional, something like yeah? Professional experience. Professional career. Career is a dilemma. Okay. Okay, right. So now you have this, right? So you are going to the next topic. You want to go first to the uh you can click this right, okay? It will give you this one. Or well, what you want to do if you want to tell your audience now, I'm not going to talk about my so what you do is right click, replicate your, duplicate your slides, and then highlight the one that you want to talk about first. Okay, so we try. Okay, so birthday here, birthday here. Okay, my here birthday is on second. Of September 1977. Okay, right? And then yeah, I want to plug in uh, pictures or videos of when my, my mother gave birth to me. I don't have, okay? Now, okay, that is on uh, transitioning from topic contents to the, to your, uh, yeah. So when it comes to the next topic, that ticket size, always have this here yeah, so that. Your audience and you know where are uh, your presentation progressing. Just now is birthday. Now I'm going to talk about birthdays, right? And then you go on. Okay. So this is how you use content slide. Here you will name it as content. Okay, that is when you replicate slide. Now drawing. Okay. If you want to draw, you choose a different layout which has blank. Like this. You have a graph, yeah. For example, you want to draw a car, okay. So I'm giving you all to follow exactly what I draw, yeah, as quickly as you can, okay. Ready? Try to use both hands, right? On your mark, get that go. Right? 
e uguale
And you want this box to be aligned, you select these two, you go to format, go to align, and then you go to align bottom ke, mana ke, yeah, see, if I click align bottom, boom, together, together, okay, say so you have three boxes, and you want to make sure ni jarak ni sama kan? Eh? Hmm. You select all, you go to arrange, you go to align, you go to distribute horizontally. Boom. Hmm. Yeah, for example, yang ni kat sini lah kan? So you want to distribute it. You do like this, you go arrange, align, horizontally. Boom. So everything will be nice. Jarak ni semua sekali. Okay, alright. So very important to use all this. Okay, and then you want to what? Add text. You want to write something here. This is one. Just click and write. Okay, or you can right click and you can put here. Edit text. That's one very fast. So if we can do this, then hmm? okay. and your clients will love you, your boss will love you. Okay, <laughs> that's during my time, lah. Okay, uh, right now, now you have that. Um, another thing that is really uh, uh, taking time is uh, to do what, eh? uh, conceptual dah, title dah, uh, edit lah, do you need that? Go to insert, whatever you want to insert, go to chat. And then say you want to edit graph, dah tadi dah buat kan graph kat sana tapi apa? Tak file Excel tu hilang pula So you have to put here Balik lah kan? Nasi lemak Ni goreng Eh? Roti channel Okay? Kita lagi apa? Keran ola Okay There you go It's all done Then you go here. So you use now the color here to show that. Okay. You take the color point here. You want to say that the most breakfast. So what? Contributing to? The DKD or additional things. So that's it. You have that and you tell the key message. Yeah? Don't just leave a pie a pie like that. That's not professional at all. Okay, right. So, what else we need? Uh, let's say um, now you are adding text. Yeah, this is important too. Okay. Uh, background. Okay, background. 
Whatever that ground is. Okay, so you want to put something here and use tap to get the right indent. Okay, always use tap so that you don't, you know, so that alignment of tap is the same all the time. And it will reduce <coughs> its size automatically so you have it all. Yeah, and if you have graph and words, you choose this one. See, this one you put your graph, this one you put your words. That's the best. Okay, seven slides. Okay. Um, what else you need to see? Say that I want to show here. I want to put in a video. Uh, what do you want? Okay. Huh. I have a video on a new machine that we wish to. That was telling my investor. I was telling my investor that we're going to buy this cup and we're play this cup. It's all in your home for you guys. Right? That's the cup that we want to buy, but we don't have enough money to buy. So please invest in our cup. Yeah? I'm there, very excited, looking at how we fill up the cup. Okay? So this is a very good presentation where you have a mix of everything so your clients or your audience will not sleep first they do hands on you know and then you have videos and then you have pictures and everything yeah never never copy paste words paragraph by paragraph and paste it in a powerpoint i will throw that back to you okay except if you are a principal consultant that is you know, <laughs> because you have principal consultant, then whatever you do is right. But if you are not, then no. Okay. Okay. Um, that's that. So you can even now, you draw something on PowerPoint, and you want it to use it as image. You can right click this, and you can save it as picture. Mm -hmm. That's very good. Yeah? Okay. Now, editing picture. Okay? You take one photo, and then that photo has too many things behind. Yeah? For example, let me take one photo. Uh, one picture. That oh, thing. you can remove background, yeah? Ah, uh, yeah. remove background. Okay. Uh, for example, I'm going to take myself there. Yeah. I want to remove all behind this. I go to, I double click the photo. Go to remove background. Okay. And then use the mark areas to keep. I want to keep my room. Okay. So it will automatically do that for me. Okay. Okay. Right. And I don't want this behind, behind me. So I file up the images. Okay, so I don't want to. Very simple, no need, uh, no need very good hands and whatever, right? There you go. Let me see it, let me see it. Huh? Oh. <laughs> That's very, uh, you know, uh, important things. So if you have, you want to create brochure, you want to, want to do, you want to use publisher, you can use PowerPoint. It's easy, yeah. And then I want to show that I have the computer that's room, okay. And I want to show that I have a lot of people here, you know, creating, creating effects like you know, close. You just now use your finger, control and shift, control and shift, and then just there you go. Right. What else do you want to do? Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. That one. That one. Okay. Right. Now, let's see how we can do presentation. Okay. Now, slide like again. I want to do presentation. Okay. I'm not teaching you yet how to do the seven deck presentation. Yeah. I'm just teaching you how to use your PowerPoint. Uh, 
Ah. Oh, nak suka tu? Okay. Ambil ini kan? Yang ni dia lagi lagi tu kan? Okay. Ambil yang ni. Tekan shift. Bersama-sama. Ya, yeah. then control shift. Betul tak? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Oh, move. Okay. Sama juga main buat garis. Bila ni ambil garis, dia lari kan? Ya. Yeah. Okay, you shift. Dan dan. Straight. So you don't have to your hands to take time. So this is how we all do PowerPoint presentation very quick. Ya. Sekejap lagi meeting. Okay. In just one hour for dah lah seven pages. But then you have to know the story line lah. Okay. That's another, another uh, part. But, but um, that's it. The easy way. So now you have all these presentations. And you want to rehearse. Okay. Okay, but um, you know, like I said, um, you do not need all these functions if uh, you are presenting it. You will use this function if you are doing it for standalone presentation. Yeah? Right? Okay. Now you want to choose uh, how this picture will come in, yeah? Because now you have family photos and everything. Okay? You want to make it as if, you know, so you choose here. Okay, now. Transition is your slide and transition. So you have to... To show this one is coming in, I want it to come in random bars. I want to go slowly. <laughs> okay. Right and that's it. Okay. So now look at the animation. I want this, this and this to come in a, a floating in. But I want it to come in a uh, different. Okay, this one is on click. I want to add animation. Okay. So this one, number two, number three, yeah? Okay, now. So that is. Okay. When you when you want to uh, show suspense, yeah, especially when you want to bring motivation, motivation talks is all this right timing, right moment, right feeling, yeah. But if you presenting performance report numbers, yeah, yeah, okay. right. Uh, also, you might want to know already. You know how to put in tables, yeah, put in a table. And then, you know, in, you tap, see, if you want to also highlight here, you go here, first column, the next column, so you are very, very nice, yeah? So if you are talking about this package, yeah? This is a package for agent, you want to highlight something here, and then you will put here all the details, and then all the costs and whatnot, so it will be a nice package. Okay. That's it, actually. When you save it, yeah, you can compress all the media. All the photos that you put in will make you have a 20 megabyte, 1 gig kind of uh, files. Please always compress your media. Yeah? So you can choose low quality and all that. Depends on yeah? if I just choose low quality, right? And then the <coughs> process for you will make your, your PowerPoint slide smaller. So you can just email them, okay? Right, and then I want to save. You can save as, for example, you want to save it um, just for presentation, yeah? You don't want people to edit it. You want to send it to the client. Instead of sending a PDF, you can send it in um, PowerPoint show. Okay. Right. So let me try that. Uh, 
okay so i say this in form for you okay when i close this Okay, nampak tak dia punya icon sini? Hmm. If it's icon like this, mean you cannot edit. So, terus keluar ini je. So, nobody can change your presentation. Okay? Good. So, kita nak start. Yes, if you want to send to others, ni sebab ada animation tadi. <laughs> okay, alright. <laughs> See, it's all working. Yeah, all working. Okay. So if you're doing research and all, you can show everything. Okay. Okay. So that is all about PowerPoint. So when somebody send you a company template like that, okay, please use this as a template. Meaning now you just. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, take, take all the content out and then use it again yeah? so that you don't have to rethink of where to put the logo and everything yeah so probably this year this is our uh, team it's red and it has to have maximum effort there and our copyright uh, JSNB 2017 and then this must, this is the where is this model come from? It's on one of the tools of operational excellence, yeah. And why is it staying? It? Because this is actually climbing up. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Get 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 Okay. Any questions on PowerPoint? Okay. PowerPoint has a cheat sheet. Cheat sheet ni, dulu-dulu, masa PowerPoint tak ada the graphic tu semua, we have to have a cheat sheet and give it to our participants lah, ya. Yeah? Sebab nak lukis-lukis semua ni susah, hmm. ya. Yeah? So what they do is they copy only. Uh, all this presentation kan, colour, pilihan, misalnya contohnya ni, Petronas punya, pakai okay, colour ni je, tak ada colour lain. Uh, dia punya corporate identity. Okay, uh, and then uh, make sure you have auto correct. Okay, auto correct. Okay, and then you look at this table making tool. Ah, uh, so we have a cheat sheet lah. So sedang lah buat kerja. Copy je, row heading tool ada. Yeah, masukkan aku. I think this is a really good idea. Cheat sheet ya. Kita kan? Yes, we also should. Because yes. you know lah how we work. Kita nak cepat kan? Yes. Hello. Uh, Basic workflow, cause and effect, yes. funnel, sales funnel, funnel, and digital sales funnel, sales funnel. So, this already the funnel, already draw. Kalau nak lukis, sendiri je no. And then your matrix, the high effort, low impact, apa semua, mega. And then your solution ada berapa. Yeah, operational excellence has six modules, six modules, dah ada. Contoh, for example. And then this is what is your milestone. Uh, quarter 1, quarter 2, quarter 3, quarter 4 yeah. uh, This is comparing two things and what is the uh, things that is overlap yeah. That you can leverage on You can have data like this uh, Data like that Or data like this so, Or data like that <laughs> Yeah, butterfly data, love it Especially social science When you want to compare two variables yeah. And then uh, bubbles, you want to show, you know, what is the market size look, whatever. And then you want to now show you this one, nasi lemak. Who is nasi lemak? Kak Jaz, Wafa, apa semua ya? Contoh macam ni lah. Okay. So when people look at it, you know, this one slide here, you can take five minutes. Just telling story of one slide. That's why we say that. Seven slides. You know that seven slides is topic and thank you, she put it. So you are talking about just five slides. Yes. Course, curve. Yeah. Uh, 
uh, waterfall, chat to show kan, what's coming on, stack what happens everything is right here so, pie pie have it, scatter this is during the time when Microsoft was not so friendly like that hmm. now everything you can get but uh, of course this is still useful lah. okay Hmm, can give this to you too, but I think the one that will be difficult for us is the the rest is okay lah. We can choose lah, yeah. Especially on the color code and all, I will now standardize it for our corporate in your branding. So, okay, okay. Ni cik cik ni cik cik tak banyak saya ni. Dia tak ada yang uh, okay. Let me see. Ada tak lagi? PowerPoint Yang ada PowerPoint ni cuma tengok berapa banyak bagi dia tu kan So PowerPoint 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 presenting data with impact Let us see what we have here This is Petronas for you Thank you so much Petronas this is Ah, because this is, if you know Ibu Hanim, Ibu Hanim is part of those who design the corporate branding. This uh, one, you can hear, see? Yes, people can every word, never. Okay? Uh, first slide. Avoid excessive bullet pointing, only bullet key. Okay? Bad color scheme. Forget it. Yeah? Right. Uh, confusion. They not the automated, yes? <laughs> ah, right. Nausea. They call it again. I'm not the Buddha. Loss of bladder control. I'm not even saying. Ah, look at that. Die. Okay. Uh, some engineers will take three days just to make sure the slide is full and fat and Vomiting at least. Okay. Uh, see, animation, highlight. This is for waterfall chat. This is where we want to see oh, what happened to our sales. What happened, what happened, yeah? And then see, oh, this is the story. You see, we are talking the story here, here, here. Uh, pointless motions. Yeah. When you are, you know? Uh, data to chat, tissue, cycle, short types, exercise, speed test. Speed test is speed test. I can be short just now. Uh, see the storyline. Data from chat, so what? You know, you have numbers, crunch, making you show what? And then we have a storyline tailored to the audience, what you want to tell them. And then what's the impact that you want? Yeah? See, all these words can be changed into all these graphical PowerPoints. Yeah? Um, da da da. Oh. Make sure the chat is not so small and crowded like this because your audience will be angry. Yeah? And do not prepare 100 pages of PowerPoint just then to click it faster when you are doing presentation. PhD students just love to do that. And then, you know, and then the panel will ask questions away from the presentation. Therefore, on this one. It looks very engineering tangent, right? Mm. PhD? Ah, no. Oh, oh. This is copy straight yes. from the uh, IT pattern from the guy. Okay? <laughs> right. Ah, so, thank you. Follow up with that. Message titles takes interpretation of the presented data. Key messages. What do you want to tell? Yeah? And then, exhibit titles and describe chats. Chat saya letak tu, mesti ada description Ya yeah? Tu not, mana dapat chat tu Where do you get that reference Ya yeah? When you put uh, 30 per, uh, what, uh, 60% of the food consumed in nasi lemak 
Where did you get that information? From? Uh, yeah? World Bank. Yes, from World Bank. Economy, <laughs> sources, <laughs> very important. Okay? Right? And then legend, when say this, what is this? What is this bar? What is this color? Yeah? And you look at this speaker here. Yeah? It is important. Uh, for example, if you work with an external, with your clients, whether this is preliminary studies, rough, approved, you know, all those stickers are very important. And you look at this. This is the guide telling your audience where you are actually. For example, just now Fatim went out and he come back, she come back, she's lost. She doesn't know. But you know, when you have a tracker, she will look at the tracker, she knows, oh, they are already talking about this one. So I better flip my step. Okay? Ready chat, data, message, comparison, two step type. Boom. Data, right? Sales have increased in 1993 to 1998. This number. Okay. Yeah. See the, see the sticker. Eh? These are all. These are all the artistic. Uh, what we call it? Yeah? Not artistic. They're called finesse to the work of a consultant. Yeah. Ah. Uh, kalau orang buat ni semua, dah cekak macam ni. Minit pangkat jadi uh, Junior which is senior consultant Tak boleh jadi uh, ni lagi Tak boleh jadi uh, principal lagi Okay Principal kita tahap kat kita boleh 90, 120k follower yes Okay Right Even me who know I'm just a CEO You know and there's all this information Tak sampai They don't get paid Yes Yes Explain this five stage life cycle. Do it now. Don't copy. I don't want to see the same chart. Okay. Ah. 
in a true PowerPoint presentation class, what we will do, we will ask, you know, participants to show their models, yeah? Because we are just doing this for one and a half hour. <laughs> we skip that part, but I still want to see how you guys use the graph or the tool that I teach you to show this five-stage life cycle. Ah. Macam -macam already, right? Very creative. What we will do is uh, more uh, shorten on the individual presentation. Lah. Mm -hmm. Then we will not take so much time. Yeah. Yeah. Because this one, what you know, uh, PhD students definitely they, yeah, they make the worst slides. Yes. Someone yeah. everything, yeah. everything, the whole thing to show their hard work. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. However, um, there's a different storyline. PhD and industry. Mm -hmm. That one we must uh, 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 be aware because um, yeah. there are different things the audience want to hear. Yeah, industry ni nak cepat ke yeah. solution. Yeah. Solution, what's the price of the solution? Can we decide or not? Yeah. And this one, no. We want to see how you dig the data. Yeah, yeah how do you uh, uh, you make assumption? How do you do it? So, uh, just, a, just a different of the storyline. Yeah. Uh. Especially the literature part, yeah? Yeah. Um, Especially when they do assignments, you know? Uh. They shouldn't take so long, one day, right. just that. Uh, once they know. So, I did a lot for the students as well. They don't have time, they say, can you help me with PowerPoint please? Give me your assignment. And I extract the key message mm -hmm. and I made it for them. Oh. Okay, then. Can they go? Can we see? The yours? Cool. Very nice. You choose uh this one here for me. Uh, arrow with the dot that shows five, mm -hmm. five stage, and yours use like a life cycle. It looks like a cycle. You too, very well, very good. How about you? You choose the uh, ramu ramu life cycle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We call it the the evolution. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, how about you? Which one do you use? You are still choosing the right method. This example. Make sure it has five. Wow, you you do your work, okay? That's good too. Yeah, that's good too. Uh, when you have a message of um, stage, you must show the stage, yeah, the evolution, yeah. And if it's five, you must have five different color, yeah, and. Um, if it's a life cycle, it's best for you to show the motion of a cycle. Yeah? If you use the one linear, it shows more like a milestone. Project plan. When we say life cycle, it, it goes like this. It goes wrong. Uh, so whatever you put here, you must match dengan your visuals. Alright, so let's see. See? Different way of people show me. Like this, like that, like this, yeah, like that, and very, very uh, crazy like this, and see, and different, yeah. And this snow is more like this, yeah. He used his own uh, apple images, right? So, uh, see, three forces at, uh, at work in the company aging. Growing technology and accelerating business stage. These are the ones uh, that is really eating the company. So uh, and also, you know, impacting the company. Let's see how they put it. Three courses. Right? Three courses. Yeah. You have to show the cause and effect where you have to use the right arrow. Okay. Right? And then pyramid. Show. Sure. <coughs> this one 
no one, no one, no one, no one. See? So you use it, you can, you know, scribble it up. Yeah, this is when you're using PowerPoint. I want to show you how we use PowerPoint to even do documentations. Yeah? Let me show you this PowerPoint presentation that is being designed uh, to be used as a manual. Yeah? So there is this one manual that we do. To the extent that when you are good with uh, uh, OER, with OER, when you are good with uh, PowerPoint, you can uh, actually come up with uh, something that is uh, at high value, yeah? This is using PowerPoint not for presentation. This is using PowerPoint for documentation. But whenever you need to use uh, use it to teach newcomers and everything, you don't need to change it back from words to um, PowerPoint. So that's why we do something direct straight to PowerPoint. Document thing, 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 right? This is for sidebox, yeah? And then you will see all the header, everything was uh, nicely designed. Look at it, this is busy. This is not designed to be used for um, yeah, presentation, but when you use it, you can go here, you can use your mouse to highlight. Okay, highlight, highlight, highlight where you want, yeah? Okay, see, right? I want to show you the progress, process flow, yeah? See, we use show all these documentation just using the PowerPoint. You have Cybox, you have i and you have deployment chat of who do what. And then you have the Rusty chat. So that, you know, if you are a good user of PowerPoint, you can do a lot of things with it. Okay? So with that, I would like to end up our presentation, PowerPoint class today. Uh, next, uh, next session for this is presenting with impact. I'm not teaching you how to use Microsoft anymore, but I will give you assignment. <coughs> Do seven slides of uh, presentation material, and now we'll teach you, we'll see you how you can do a high impact presentation, body language, yeah, uh, you know what to wear, what to wear, but all those uh, things in high impact, theoretically, yeah, and then how you and your style, yeah, would match it up, right? So with that, I would like to thank you, everyone. That is all for today. Ah, uh, thank you for listening. Alright, and watching. Alright. Okay. Okay.